Are you ready to move and groove through the Bible? During Get Real, we'll be creating our own dance moves and hand motions to go along with the book of Genesis. When the story's finished, we'll put it to music and create our own reel. It's like a short video. So what are you waiting for? It's time to get real. Hello everyone and welcome to the beginning of an incredible journey. Let me tell you about what we're going to be doing. For the next year, we're gonna be diving into the world's most incredible book, the Bible, to learn about the greatest story ever told. Now, some of you might be thinking, wait, which story are you talking about? There are tons of great stories in the Bible. Well, you're right, sort of. The Bible is filled with a lot of great stories, but if you put all of those smaller stories together, it forms one big Bible story. Think of it kind of like a puzzle. <laughs> Each piece of a puzzle holds just one small part of the big picture. But when you put the different pieces together, you get the whole picture, just like this. It's kind of like that with the Bible. Stories about creation, Noah, David, and even Jesus are just smaller pieces of the story. When you put all those stories together, though, it forms one big Bible story of God's incredible love for us. Speaking of incredible, this is our first week of an incredible new series called Get Real. For the next four weeks, we'll be moving and grooving through the beginning of the Bible. Here's how. In just a minute, we're going to tell you a story from the Bible. And as we go, we're going to make up dance moves and hand motions to go along with the story. When the story is finished, we'll put the moves all together and add music to make a reel or a short video of the whole routine. Who's excited to get started? All right, then, let's get real. In the Bible, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. On day one, God spoke and said, Let there be light. God called the light day, and he called the darkness night. God looked at the light he had created and said, This is good. All right, it's time to move. What dance move or hand motion could we do for that part of the story? Maybe this? just like the sun. On day two, God spoke and separated the waters of the earth into the clouds and moisture of the sky above and into the waves of the ocean below. God looked at what he created on day two and said, this is good. And then here's the dance move. Just make it like a wave. On day three, God spoke and said, let dry ground appear. He made the land rise up from out of the ocean. He spoke again and created grass and flowers and trees on the land. God looked at what he had created on day three and said, this is good. Now this dance move, we're going to make a mountain like this. On day four, God said, let there be lights in the huge spaces of the sky. And so God created the sun to shine during the day and he created the moon and stars to shine during the night. God looked at what he had created on day four and said, this is good. This, for this dance move, we're going to be making stars with our hands. On day five, God spoke and said, let the waters be filled with living things. Let birds fly above the earth across the huge space of sky. On the count of three, take a deep breath and hold it. Now let it out. God looked at what he had created on day five and said, this is good. Now we're going to be making arms like birds, like this. On day six, God spoke and said, let the land produce all kinds of living creatures. All kinds of wild animals fill the earth, mammals, insects, reptiles. On the same day, God formed the first man out of the ground. He formed man in his own image to look just like God looked. And during that move, we're going to just going to be marching like this. When God was finished shaping the man, he breathed the breath of life into him. And the man became a living person. His name was Adam. God looked at the man he had created on day six and said, this is very good. Now for that move, we'll just be spinning around like this. By day seven, God had finished all of the work he had been doing. So he rested. And then our last move. We'll just pretend we are asleep. 
Now that we've told the whole story, let's play some music and do all the moves together. You ready? Here we go. So, hey guys, it's still Molly, but I have a special guest with me today. Her name is Mason, and she's my little sister, and she's going to be helping me with the dance reel. So, let's get to it. Well, now that we're done with that, let's take a minute to think. Of all the things God created, what's your favorite? What do you think this story teaches you about God? Think about this for a second. After each day of creation, God said, it is good. But when he finished creating people, he said, this is very good. Isn't that amazing? When God created us, he made us special, better than anything else. Let me show you what I mean. Take a close look at your fingerprints. Did you know that there are no two people in the world with the same fingerprints? Now stick your tongue out and try to look at it. You probably can't see it, but your tongue has a print too. Sorry, you probably couldn't understand me, but on your tongue, it has a print too. And just like your fingerprint, no two tongues are the same. Touch the skin on your arm. I hope you're not too attached to it because in less than the month, It will be all gone. Don't worry, though. New skin will grow in to replace it. And how about your heartbeat? Can you feel it beating with your hand? Do you know that your heart beats over a thousand, over a hundred thousand times every day? And how about this? Feel your face. You have 60 muscles just in your face. (laughs) Let me see you smile. It takes 17 muscles to smile. Now, let me see you frown. You're using 43 muscles right now, just to frown. Now grab your front tooth. Do you know that the tooth is the only part of the body that can't heal itself? Every other part of our bodies can heal itself when injured. You know what? We're not the only ones in awe of God's creation. King David from the Bible was pretty impressed too. Let's take a look at what David wrote in the book of Psalms. How you made me is amazing and wonderful. I praise you for that. What you have done is wonderful. I know that very well. Psalm 139, 14. When King David thought about how wonderfully God had made him, he couldn't help but want to praise God. God created us in an amazing way. He created us so that we could have a relationship with him. And when we really think about that, we can't help but want to praise God. Pretty amazing, isn't it? God made our bodies to be wonderfully complex. King David recognized that, and it made him want to thank and praise God. But there's more. The creation story shows us that not only did God make us wonderfully complex, but he made us in a special way to have a special relationship with him. God formed us with his own hands. He breathed life into us with his own breath. The Bible says that God walked and talked with Adam. God has a special relationship with people. How amazing is that? God actually wants to know us and he wants us to know him. The creator of the entire universe loves us and wants to spend time with us. I think we should pray and thank him for that. God, thank you for making us and wanting to spend time with us. You have created a wonderful world and we praise you for it. Amen. Amen. So now it's time for our blessing. So hold out your hands as you receive it. May you know that God created you, breathes life into you, and loves you so much. May you see yourself and others in the way that God sees you. Today's prayer prompt is, write a prayer to God, praising Him for His wonderful creation. Today's journal prompt is to tell God how it makes you feel to know He created you in a special way and wants to have a special relationship with you. Today's Bible prompt is to read it for yourself. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 through chapter 2, verse 7. Write down your favorite verses from that story. Why did you like that part? Today's art prompt is to create a picture of God's creation. Try to include something from each day of creation in your picture. Music and poetry station prompt 
is to write a song or poem praising God for his creation or for making you special.